Hello everyone, Desby Seb here. In this video, I'll walk you through the travel planner in Notion. This will be a quick tutorial and overview of how the template works. As you can see, we have quick buttons that help populate specific databases in your dashboard. Then we have the navigation panel for the outline, itinerary, budget, and more. You'll also find the journal section where you can see your most recent entries. Moving forward, you can view your upcoming trips. Clicking the Kanban view shows the status of your trips, whether they're in the planning phase or currently ongoing. You can also track the trips you've completed. The count view displays the total number of trips you've taken. Now let's go to the overview. Here you'll see the itinerary activities for each trip. As shown in these sample entries, you might have a business meeting, a Broadway show, and other planned activities. So we have a new trip feature here. When creating a sample trip, you can enter your destination, start date, purpose, and travel type. Let's add some sample details. When setting the start date, don't forget to add the end date. Clicking the end date highlights the trip duration. For accommodations, simply enter where you'll be staying, click the plus button, and add a new entry. If you have multiple accommodations, just repeat the process, and each one will be linked to your trip. Now for the trip status, it's currently in the planning stage. Once marked as ongoing, it will appear in the upcoming trip section. New activities are connected to this view. As you can see, they appear when linked to a trip. Next, the memory feature. When you create a new memory, it appears here because it's pinned. This highlights the best moments from your trip. So let's just input some data here and let's go back to our dashboard in the memory section. Then as you can see, the memory that you've pinned did showed up here. The checklist section allows you to list the items you're bringing. For example, you can add clothing, specify the quantity, and categorize it. The checklist serves as a reminder of what to pack. Then now let's go to our checklist database and let's check the items that we needed for our upcoming trips. And yeah, here it is. Now moving on, let's go see the next button, which is the document section stores important travel documents like visas, passports, and flight tickets. Also remember, we need to input the related trip on what document is this allocated to, so we won't be confused later on. Now, as you can see, here's the following documents that I have, and we can also see on what document that we need for each specific trips that we have. Now, moving on, the budget feature lets you allocate expenses for each trip. Once entered, the budget appears in the dashboard. Then we just need to first to input the amount, then click what category that this budget falls into and what trip it is allocated on. Now, as you can see, it did auto-populate and add the amount we just input on our current total budget. Now, let's discuss navigation. The outline shows planned, ongoing, and completed trips in a Kanban board view. So in this overview, you can see the trips that we're planning to go, ongoing trips, and the places we've traveled so far. The timeline and calendar views help track appointments. Awesome and easy to navigate, right? The itinerary section lists scheduled activities for each trip. For example, in a business conference trip, you'll check into a hotel and attend a Broadway show. And yeah, then let's move forward to... In the budget section, you can track total expenses, categorize payments, and distinguish between paid and unpaid amounts. So right now you can see the paid tickets, activities, and more. Then there's also the unpaid section for the unpaid ones. There's also this category section for you to navigate on. The checklist section displays packed items and their categories, preventing confusion. And here's also some of the examples of the items that I'll be bringing on on my trip that's specified clearly on each individual trip. The accommodations section lists your stays, making it easy to track where you'll be staying. In here, you could also see the infos of each accommodation that you'll be staying at on your trips. The documents section keeps all necessary travel documents in one place. For example, in a business conference trip to New York, you'll need a hotel booking, visa, 
flight ticket, and passport. This section ensures you don't forget anything. Now let's move to the journal. Here you can create a new entry, set a mood, add tags, and reflect on your trip. Archived entries appear in the archive section. Finally, the memories section stores all recorded moments from your trip. You can add new memories and view them in a calendar. Pinned memories appear on your dashboard. This calendar view will also help you navigate on what day that specific memory you've input. So yeah, that's a wrap on this travel planner walkthrough. I hope this helps you stay organized on your trips. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the template in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.